Welcome back to my latest 8-Ball Breakout Review. Tim here to break it all down for you. Smash the like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Because we got new videos coming out every day and you guys are part of this journey. Today we got... You gotta have belief in yourself because if you don't, you know, who else do you think is gonna... And we're gonna display that very lesson throughout this rack where you might say to yourself or to myself, or I might say to myself, you know, there's no way this rack is getting run. But there's always a possibility and you gotta keep your mind open to the idea that there are possibilities that you might not even realize. Anyways, we made a couple on the break, I believe. Um, a couple balls there. 9, 10, 11, 13, 13 left on the, on the board. Looks like a nice little constellation. Um, I'm going to go after solids here at some point. I don't know what I'm doing over there. Probably just analyzing. Um, so first step is to hit this ball in the pocket. And... Yeah, I didn't really mean to hit that three ball. I just was kind of trying to go down below it to get on one of those two balls, either the one or the three. Um, so here, I think about where I want to be. Because I'd like to uh, draw this back a little bit and then just kind of stop it right there when I hit this one ball in and so I can hit the five and next only problem is I'm sitting there and looking at it going like how am I ever going to get it on the seven I'd have to <clears throat> hit the five ball in from approximately where the one is right now and then go off the back rail and back up but there's just like no way how would I even fit it through that window coming back and get the speed perfect and everything? <clears throat> so, yeah, I actually decide. So I actually decide to... Uh, Follow this up and back down. So I, then I figured that would give me more options because I could hit either the five or the seven. But I actually get stuck behind the ten ball here. But I still have belief that I'm going to run this rack. Even though I'm stuck behind the ten ball. I actually can hit the five in to the corner down there, maybe. But then again, how do I get on the seven? I can't, there's like no way to like draw it back. I mean, I guess I could try to stab at it to try to get it to come back this way, but there's no way I'd make it. So I was actually kind of hoping, I don't know what I was hoping for there. But anyway, I have potential bank shot here. It's a pretty clean bank opportunity here. Of course, the eight ball has like no pocket to go in. I don't know if there's any pocket that the eight ball goes in. So I'm going to use right spin to come around the table. Okay, banked it in, good. Actually hit the 10 ball, it looks like. And, but look at this, I actually have an opening for the 8 ball. This is not an easy shot, but I think I have a tiny little sliver of daylight <clears throat> to try to shoot at this 8 ball. I actually couldn't tell if I was going to graze the whatever 
ball that is next to it, a 13 ball or something. If I cut it enough to make it actually go in the corner pocket, it was, this is a pretty touch and go here, but I rub down my shaft. I'm gonna do my best to visualize this and concentrate. The ball somehow it goes in, all right, there you go. I believed that it was possible and it was apparently.